got a four nine nine lunch special. What time is it? It's it's past lunch now. What am I gonna eat for lunch? I want a chicken salad. Ever since I took the tick tick up. Did I just have a stroke? What was that? stuff so early girl so this is my recovery week after the crazy weekend I had last week I actually went out again to a couple clubs Saturday and Sunday night I didn't record it didn't do anything because I was just like I, just after the Nikki thing I was exhausted but with that being said, um, so today I think I'm going to an intense, it's called intense yoga. It's um, called intense yoga. Apparently it's going to be hot. It's going to be like a whole thing. So hopefully I'll be able to record some of it. Our classes are extremely hot. You must bring towel. So it's like a hot yoga, I think. It's an hour, so it'll be a great workout. Then I'm going to try to get a facial, get a massage, get my hair done, um, get my nails done. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This week is nothing but recovery. But recovery. Um, I hope nobody comes to Miami this week. I really don't feel like being invited somewhere because I don't feel like getting dressed. But... That's how we're starting it out. I woke up late. I'm 20 minutes late to my fucking yoga class where I'm gonna go in there and act like I'm rushing all that other stuff. So we we shall see.
I just don't know. I I just I just don't know why I do these things to myself. I really I just really don't know why I do these things to myself. I just don't. Um just left the hot yoga. I had fun. Like I'm just not gonna lie, I did have fun. They need to put an emphasis on hot. Because literally, first of all, I don't know what about me that when I go places, it reads like beginner, loser. Like as soon as I walked in, of course I walked in late. As soon as I walked in, the lady, like everybody looked at me and looked me up and down. They were like, bitch, you know damn well this ain't, this is not your cup of tea or latte. And I was just like, okay, here we go. Immediately, I forgot my water bottle in the car like a child and I was too embarrassed to leave the class to go get it. I brought my water and it had lime and all this other stuff in it. And I was too embarrassed to go leave the class after I came late to go get my water. So I sat there with no fucking water and was dying. And the lady, like the instructor was like, sweetheart, are you okay? And I was just like, yeah. She's like, you didn't bring a water? I was like, no. She's like, I'm gonna go get you some water. Cause clearly I was, I was, first of all, I'm utterly embarrassed that I was the youngest person in that class. And it sounded like the, when I was doing the poses, it sounded like I was crumpling a bag of chips. Every fucking bone and, and, and ligament in my body decided they wanted to speak up today and embarrass me in front of company. I am thoroughly embarrassed because it sounded like I was playing with a bag of chips. It was snack crackling motherfucking pop. And I was so irritated at my knees and my elbows and, and my and my and my just places in my body that don't have like these bendable ass things that shouldn't have been made. Oh, now y'all don't want to make noise. I promise you my elbow made a that ain't, it never did that. My elbow went both elbows, shoulder went back went knees, my knees is always crickling and crackling. So that I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna be upset at her because I knew she was gonna do that. Ankles, same thing, even my fucking, even my, my fingers part of my body wanted to embarrass me today in front of them older people and be and it was so crazy because it had music it was heated and shit it was dark but it's so so she said downward spiral dog baby pose whatever all of a sudden my body said snap crackle and motherfucking pop then it's like I don't know I have to start doing research before I go to these classes because she's saying quinoa, jasabi, pose, up dog, ugala magalo. It sounds like she's ordering from an Italian Starbucks like menu. I don't know what the this lady is saying, but she's yelling out ugala magala and people are just knowing what to do. And then I kept looking around and she was like, don't look around, close your body and let your body guide you. I said, bitch, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I don't know what it is with these classes. Maybe they've always been like that where they have to individualize everything. Great job, Jenny. Abatha, Abatha, good job, great pose. Great downward child pose. Come on, Chelsea. Okay, you almost got it. <laughs> Stop calling out my mother name. Then, as soon as we started really getting into getting it, so she started bringing all these equipments to my goddamn mat. Bringing all these equipments to my mat. All these these necessity helpers, and I was just getting, I was embarrassed because she was bringing blocks and sticks and and wraps and something. Oh, girl, I need to go to the beauty supply store. I need to go to the beauty supply store, and I need to get me some skin bleaching, like Cariolite or something for my knees. Because all these workouts is making my knees is talk. That's one thing about yoga. Um, you get to know your body. Like, I have blisters and corns on my feet that I never saw before. Um, my knees are incredibly dark. I need some bleaching cream or something like that for that. My knees are dark as fuck. And um, I got some hairy, my belly is hairy. My belly button is hairy. 
but yeah I was I was embarrassed but I, I it was nice real uh, this morning I was very lagging I, I went out and stuff like that so it was also um really opened up my sinuses and stuff I was sweating I was sweating um, there was this one there was these three people in front of me they must have been super senior members okay when I tell you they're pouring sweat pouring it was the most disgusting thing in the world to me and I felt so bad because you guys know I cannot have my facial expressions especially when I'm feeling utterly concerned they were dripping sweat dripping it like somebody had opened like Jesus had opened up a faucet on these people and they were dripping it and then the guy and the lady they was in a comp they was in Ariel but I hope they work at the circus because they was doing fucking balancing on their nose and flips and dips and hips and up in the air and shit and I was just like oh my god fucking grabbing grabbing the extended finger toe toe the, the finger toe and just pulling it pulling that bitch up to the sky i said oh my god oh my god why do i always take the advanced classes how do i always get the most like advanced classes it's ridiculous it was horrible so now I have to go to the studio and edit an interview. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have time to take a shower, but there's some like traffic right now and me vlogging and not being able to hit my 92 like I always do on the 95 is not benefiting me at this moment. But yeah, you guys can see I'm glycery. And something smell like piss. I know, I wear the same workout outfit all the time. I know I don't smell like piss because I wash my clothes in oxy and white vinegar yeah and a little bit of lemon juice so i know i don't have a smell on my clothes it might have been my mat that smelled like piss but something was smelling like piss and i just hope i don't smell like piss like while i was sweating i got to smell myself and i did take a really good shower this morning so i still smell like soap because i smell it but I hope nothing on me smells like piss. Cause when I was in there, it smelled like fucking piss. So, um, on to the next. Okay, so, back at the pole dancing class. Didn't feel like going to Pilates, so I booked another pole dancing class. Cause I feel like this will be more beneficial towards me. And it's funner. My camera died, so I have to use my phone, which is kind of messed up because then I know I'm not going to have enough storage to record, like, the dancing and things like that. But I'm really excited. I'm late. I don't know why I'm always late to, to everything all of a sudden. I used to be a very punctual person, and then all of a sudden, but I'm late. But I did read somewhere that the days are getting shorter. Oh, there's a nice... Oh, and she's nosy. It's a nice black girl, and she's nosy. Okay. Okay, you can always come back and have a day in practice. Now, the reason why we have those left hand bends is because you need to push your body forward and back for a lot of moves that you do in the next level. Okay, so let me show you that. When you start like this, but you can finish like this and do this. Okay, so after after the pole dancing class, I was so exhausted. I like literally fell into my bed. That class was way more intense than the choreography class that I went to the first time. Then when we got into like we learned three new moves that she told us to practice on at home, I was just like who got a pole at the I said I'm doing this for for exercise purposes and just for for fun. I don't got a pole at home, but okay, whatever. But child, I was hitting the ground hard. I was hitting that ground so mother hard. You would not believe how hard I was hitting the ground. Let's see what's office, police officer right there. 
And uh, I don't even have a license. Child. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, I hit that ground so hard. Some of these times I was trying so hard to build up my like strength or whatever the case may be. She taught some tricks on like how to distribute the weight to make it easier. And I was just thinking in my head, like when you were a child and you used to go to like the the um I guess the playground and used to play on them swings not swings but used to play on the pole and just float around and do all this other stuff like it was so much easier to to do that but um now that I'm older it's hard and to hold yourself up and stuff hoist yourself up I'm like yo this stuff is hard like to be a stripper you have to be a very athletic upper body strength person but they don't they don't call themselves strippers they call each other extreme polars i don't know what that's supposed to mean but that's what they call each other i'd be calling them strippers but on the low um yeah it was just a lot a lot of work i really enjoy that over pilates however i'm not going back to pilates for some time i'm not going back to pilates for like a couple weeks because girl it just be taking a toll on my body and it's just like i just don't have the strength to do it and plus i have this really really amazing gym in my building like it's a state-of-the-art like the gym is one floor like an entire floor it has the the um the treadmill that is kind of like a hat like a u-shape it's not a flat treadmill it's like a u-shape so that's how i that's how you know it's serious business that's how i feel like i know it's serious business but yeah, I have to just start utilizing that. However, since I've been down here, um, I've just been walking around a lot of places. Like, I barely drive unless I'm going somewhere. But most of the time, like, I walk to get food. Like, I went to go my Uber Eats. I have not Uber, not used, like, Uber Eats in, like, over, like, a month. Because, like, everything is in a walking distance. Which is, like, great. Because that's how it was when I was in New York. It's just, like, I guess in New York, I just knew where the more popping places were, I guess. Like, I haven't found, like, a good Chinese spot out here. But I did go to, like, a, a Chinese buffet that was really good. Oh, yeah, and I got my hands on. But then I went to the pole dancing class. I got my hands on, then I went to the pole dancing class, and I messed it up, got my nails done. But thankfully, my nails didn't get messed up. I haven't done long nails in months also. But I was just like, let me just do a little bit longer, a little coffin. Because the short French, it was it was getting kind of old. So I'm just like, let me do a little bit longer nails. It's getting ready to be holidays. Switch it up, give a little hooch, a little ho type thing. However, I did stay with doing the neutrals because you guys know I do not like some crazy colors or anything like that. But yeah, so I'm on my way to a beauty supply store because one, I need bleaching cream. Like my knees from working out Pilates and doing those pole dancing classes and all that other stuff, like my knees are turning black. I don't know if I'm paranoid or whatever the case may be, but my knees are turning black. Black. So I definitely want to get some bleaching cream for my knees because it's just like dropping on them. They said to get knee pads, but I just haven't gotten knee pads. So I'm gonna do bleaching cream, lighten up my own my legs a little bit because I do not like that. That's not pretty. That's not ladylike. But anyway, yeah, I'm on my way to a beauty supply store. One, because I need bleach and cream for my legs. And then two, Tasha called me this morning and said a uh, boutique store is going out of business and the lady is selling her shit outside for like $10, $20. And so she has been blowing on my phone. She has been there all day. And I was just like, what is at this freaking place? So I said, fine. I'm on my way there right now. I'm like three minutes away. Go check out what this lady is selling from the back of her trunk. She was like, it's all the clothes you like. And I was just like, me, you do not like the same clothes, y'all. So I don't know why you why you would say something like that. But I hold on, sorry. Ooh. I um didn't have time to really do my hair from the pole dance class because I literally I didn't even wrap my hair up, which is another reason why my hair is messed up. But that's cool, I could fix it. Usually I'll curl the front part and then use my blow dryer. Um brush to like fan it out but like i said she's been calling me making it seem like this is a dire emergency that i go look at this lady's shit so i'm on my way there um i'm actually 
sometime this week I have to go look at new billboard locations in Miami well, actually the prices in Miami are crazy so I'm doing it for a lot of deal I'm gonna just keep it above and plus there's more I've looked at the demographic and there is more financial business owners that reside in Fort Lauderdale and I just feel like Miami if I was to do it's like people who do billboards in Times Square like that's dumb that's not profitable that's just for something for you to do to post on social media doing billboards in like those touristy areas because the only people that are there are tourists I want business owners I want more clients to do like my social media work and to do um, mentorships and things like that and to sell like my email subscription list and to sell um, my courses and things like that and so I'm just I don't want I'm not paying the pricing for Miami billboards just to have it advertised to a bunch of tourists who don't live in that area so I'm gonna be looking at some new spots in Fort Lauderdale um, to see where I'm gonna be putting my billboards I, I do want to get probably like five or six billboards I, I still have some billboards up in Atlanta and they're doing pretty pretty okay I think I, I still get like on average probably one or two calls or inquiries um, uh, a month and someone in the comments last time I posted a billboard asked me how was that profitable um, a billboard like in Atlanta where I have them they they cost around like a thousand whatever dollars for a couple weeks and the reason why it would be profitable is profitable is because my pricing for just just for like social media management starts at 2500 so with one customer or one new client or one new referral whatever the case may be that covers pretty much the entire billboard pay so I'm back in the black I'm not in the red once I get I secure one client or one referral even if that's somebody only does like two months or three months or whatever the case may be if I get one of those longevity clients like a Tasha K that just hires me forever forever ever 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 then that's great um but yeah why I noticed I noticed which line what type of area is this Oh my god. Oh my god. What type of area is this? What type of area is this? This girl is crazy. How does she get back here? That shouldn't even be an area. What? Bro. What type of area is this? How does she even get to a place like this? This lady is, I don't even want to show her because it's, I don't want to show her. I don't. I don't know why Tasha really brought me out here. I don't want to show her. This lady is selling clothes. Let me do it real quick. Can y'all see? This lady is selling clothes out of her trunk. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I, when I like to shop, however, I like to have my stuff not dragging on the the floor of the parking lot and then of course I'm I see hundred dollar prints I see kisses prints I see Looney Tunes back I see a lot of prints and for those who don't know I'm not a big printy girl I'm not big on prints so I'm very to call Tasha and call, curse her out like why did you bring me to this place hey, hey um I, I just got here so I'm looking at her stuff while I'm sitting in the car oh that's good okay I just want to show you a good deal you want to show me a good deed or a good deal? Good deal. Oh, uh, you bought clothes from there? I did not because I don't wear that stuff. I ain't got the body for it. I got rolls and shit. Okay. 
Okay, well, I just got here, so I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna go to the beauty supply store. Get me some bleach and cream for my knees. Okay. All right, bye. Should I even shop here? Oh my god. <laughs> Let me go look. Let me go look. I'll... Girl, let me tell you what happened. So, okay, I got the little, um, I got some, hold on. I got some little, like, gel stuff for your, like, elbows and your knees. And I got some lash glue. Because when I be doing my little fills, my lashes myself, you know, do a quick little fill. I ain't got time to be doing all this. So, I went to the lady, um, back of her. Why am I back? I went to the ladies. um, come the fuck on, bro. Yo, I hate when dudes be trying to get your atten attention while you driving and trying to talk to you. And it's just like, bro, move out of my way so I can go. Like, you just blocking my way. Anyway. So, I walked over there and I'm like, let me just be nice. Go see. Maybe she got something. I peak my interest, child. She looked at me and she was like, do you dress sexy? She's like, I only got six of things. Do you dress sexy? I was like. I was just like, um, no, not really, but you know, maybe I'll see something I like. Like before, I she looked me up and down, and said, "I only got sexy things. Do you dress sexy?" I was just like, I could dress sexy, like if I wanted to. Like, you see how people? Oh, they got a four nine nine lunch special. What time is it? It's it's past lunch now. What am I gonna eat for lunch? I want a chicken salad. Ever since I took the tick tick up. Did I just have a stroke? What was that? Was that some Tourette? What? Where? I can't wait. I can't wait to watch the video back of me doing that. Cause where did that come from? Anyway, ever since. <sighs> ever since I TikTok of the people saying um, it's a chicken salad, I have been eating chicken salads. I don't got no money. <laughs> um, ever since that that TikTok of the chicken salad, I've been up some chicken salads. Yesterday I had usually my pre-packaged chicken salad from um Publix, they had ran out. So I had to make my own salad, which thoroughly irritated me. But I put some green onions in it. I put some green peppers. I put some bell peppers in it. I put pumpkin seeds. I just put a whole bunch of just stupid stuff that I like in my salad. Girl, when I tell you I was eating that thing, oh, I was eating that thing up so good. I was eating that bad boy up, honey. I was on the phone. And somebody was just like, damn, what are you eating? I'm like, girl, I'm eating a chicken salad. I'm eating a chicken salad and I put some Greek pasta in the chicken salad too. I was fucking that salad up. Fucking it up. Mm. I'm working on my cursing, but I had to curse because that salad was so goddamn good. And I want to go get another one, child. I want to go get another one. <sighs> oh my god. I literally didn't do nothing all day. Why am I so tired? Lazy girl. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Alright, I'm about to go back to my house. I don't know why this lady called me outside to come look at that. Now I'm going to walk down. I'm going to walk down to the studio so I can edit some videos. And I'm going to go get me a chicken salad. I don't know. I'm, I'm not hungry, but I just feel like eating something. Even though I'm not really that hungry. I really want a hot dog. I keep forgetting. I bought hot dog buns, but I ain't got no hot dog. Okay, I'm just rambling. This this is not really going anywhere. I thought I was going to find me a cute little outfit. That's why I started vlogging, but... Did not. It was just a waste of time, child. So, yeah. Okay, spending time with my little family at the club. Okay, girl.
family fun day. Family fun day. Woo! Tika, tika, tika. Mm -mm. That's tired me out. Hey. Okay, hey guys. So today we are going to go look at my new billboard. Um Damn, I can't make a turn. I have enough tickets. I just got a ticket. Let me not even do it. Let me go all the way around. So I just got another billboard. A new billboard in Fort Lauderdale. So when it's a new um a new location as well as a new uh graphic or whatever i like to go check it out just to make sure everything like with the sizing is good if there's something that looks like awkward i want to be able to like know for the next time if i buy this in this location there's like a tree here or there's something here where i might have to switch up my um my like graphics and stuff and so was that not allowed to turn red I don't know. And so, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pull over on the side of the road because this is like technically it's on a highway, but I didn't feel like driving on the highway because I wanted to see it. Anyway, so I am going to park my car right here and just wait um a lot of people ask me about um the pricing of the pricing about billboards um if you're getting like a stationary billboard like that person has where it doesn't change you have to um print and do all that crazy stuff and it stays there for all day those billboards are super expensive However, these digital um, billboards that change um, every few seconds, they are more affordable and cost effective. And so right now, it is about four o'clock. It is about, yeah, it's about four o'clock right now. Um, the highway is just up there. So I picked this billboard spot only because um, peak hours and um it's heading southbound so this billboard is in fort lauderdale and what i mean that it's heading southbound that means that it is um it's going towards the miami area so people who people who are um yeah gonna see it they're gonna be like you know hopefully going towards miami um, I didn't want to do a billboard in Miami because I just felt like most of those people are tourists and so that wouldn't be um, beneficial to me. Um, and so I felt like, you know, a, just like in New York, in New York, everybody who lives, who works in Manhattan usually don't live in Manhattan. They live in Westchester. They live, you know, in the Bronx. They live in those more um, northern cities and then they come down to the city to work or they come down to the city to, to host their business um, and things like that. So I just felt like this was the better choice to put it. Um, I get my billboards from a broker. His name is Dorian. They call him King Billboard. Um, I had posted his email on my community tab just a couple days ago. And so um, with him, he does a lot of like sales. And to be honest, people don't know how affordable it is to purchase a billboard. <laughs> Excuse me, to purchase a billboard. Um, like he had, ah, there it goes, there's me. <gasps> there's me. Ah, oh, fuck. I was talking and I had no idea that it had already gone. Well, yeah, so I gotta wait until the next time. But, um, so yeah. He hosts a lot of like sales and deals and things like that. And so that's when I really um, like to purchase. So a consultation fee with me is um, anywhere from 100, 150 to $200, depending. 
the billboard that I purchased um, during peak hours going southbound to Miami literally I got from Dorian for a hundred dollars for a hundred dollars I mean couldn't you know Dorian homies down so we worked out a couple deals or whatever the case may be and so if I only if I get one referral one 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 person call say hey I saw your billboard I would like to book a consultation so we can kind of break down um, what what specifications you have that you can bring on the team whatever the case may be i say sure no problem i send them a link it costs it costs to talk to me baby <laughs> so one referral pays for that billboard and then anything after that is just extra and so yeah so i'm gonna get out of the car i'm gonna try to capture it in a better light so like true Florida fashion baby it bro, it starts sun sun raining it starts sun raining where there's no clouds and it rained on me while I was getting that video so yeah that's how I'm going to end my vlog had a very eventful week did hot yoga did the um the pole pole workout thing hung out with my cousins it was regular it was real chill so, got to see a new billboard and i'll be back with another video very, very soon tell me base soaps